Welcome to the 51st video of Bangkok Unmasked, the YouTube channel that helps you get the most out of your visit to Bangkok City. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to 13 Thai customs and traditions that you need to know. So why is this information important? When we live in a clan, tribe, group or a society, we have to follow some set rules, principles, policies or laws which become customs. I firmly believe that if you want to fit in and make real friends during your visit to Thailand, it's important to understand the local customs and traditions. If possible, one should try to adapt accordingly. A good number of the Thai customs and traditions which I'm going to discuss came as a complete surprise to me. I hope that this information makes your holiday, business trip or adventures in Thailand easier. My first couple of years in Thailand were great. That said, they would have been much easier if I'd known all this stuff before I got off the plane. Let's get started. Thai customs and traditions number one, the body. The Thai plays great importance and significance to certain parts of the body. The head is seen as the most spiritual part of the body. You should never touch a person's head. Note, this goes for children too. An affectionate ruffling of a child's hair might cause offence to Thai parents. Most Thai are not touchy-feely, not at all in fact. It's not common to see Thai couples holding hands or hugging in public. Kissing and other public displays of affection are an absolute no-no. The feet are seen as dirty and symbolically low. You should never touch somebody or something with your foot. When sitting, try to sit with the sole of your foot pointing outwards. The main point here is to avoid pointing your foot at a person or especially any Buddhist image. Absolute no-nos are also to hold doors open with your feet, pushing a bag along with your feet, or otherwise using your feet in place of your hands. Pointing with a finger is also seen as impolite, as is beckoning someone with a crooked finger. The Thai will often use their lips to point, pushing out the lips to indicate a direction. Like that. Alternatively, use the whole hand with the fingers outstretched to a point to beckon someone. The palm should be face down with all fingers extended and the action from the wrist. And you can beckon a taxi like this. Thai customs and traditions number two, sexual tolerance. Thailand has long enjoyed a reputation for sexual tolerance, based more on non-confrontational rather than progressive attitudes. The country is very safe for LGBT travelers. Transsexuals, also known as gratos or ladyboys, are highly visible in mainstream society, from scantily clad teens to high profile celebrities. There is of course a caveat. While there is sexual tolerance in Thailand, this will quickly evaporate if, as mentioned before, public displays of affection are overtly visible. Do whatever you want within reason behind closed doors. Do it in public and things will likely go sideways very quickly. Thai customs and traditions number three, beware the Thai smile. Many new visitors to Thailand believe that it's a warm, happy and welcoming nation because of the constant smiles. Indeed, the tourist authority of Thailand leveraged this fact to create the slogan Land of Smiles back in the 1980s. However, Thai smiles don't always show happiness. In many instances, they're used as a mask. This is not to detract from the fact that most Thai are kind, welcoming, and all round good people. I do though want to emphasize that a smile may not be what you think it is. From my experience, in Thailand situations quickly go from smiles to extreme violence very quickly. This often leaves foreigners extremely confused as to uh, how they're misunderstanding the smile. I'll do a video on this in the near future. Thai customs and traditions number four. Yes and no don't always mean what you think they do. If a Thai person says no outright, it means a firm no. However, yes doesn't always mean yes. The Thai generally don't like letting others down and will often agree to things even if they don't want to or even have no intention to follow through on what they've agreed upon. To say that this can be frustrating is an understatement. Note, it's rare for a Thai person to admit to not knowing something. If, for example, you're asking for directions, don't expect the directions to be correct. Then there's the Thai custom of Grang Jai. 
which is somewhat related. To discuss this is a YouTube video in itself. Briefly, it's customary to breed Grang Jai, i.e. to be considerate and not inconvenient someone else. Many Thai, though, often take Grang Jai to great extremes, and it can lead to some truly crazy situations. One common example is where a group of Thai know that a senior is talking nonsense, but they don't or can't call them out on it due to Grang Jai. This often leads to people feeling obligated to follow through on instructions that they know are ridiculous. Thai customs and traditions number five. Family comes first. Family pretty much always comes first in Thailand. Also, a much greater emphasis is placed on the extended family than in most Western countries. In Thailand, it's normal for extended families to live close to each other. It's also very common for children to be raised by grandparents or aunts and uncles if their parents need to work elsewhere. Younger members of the family are expected to take care of older members. This is often financially or by doing a range of chores. Note, it's very common when speaking Thai to also use family terms such as brother, sister, aunt, uncle, mother and father as personal pronouns. This can often apply to strangers where there is no blood relation to them at all. One other note, the Thai Chinese differ from the Thai insofar as that they often have a rigid family hierarchy. Each member of the family has a specific name, which depends on their age and where they are in the family in relation to other members. Thai customs and traditions number six, Mai Ben Rai. A common phrase heard in Thailand is Mai Ben Rai. This roughly translates to no problem or never mind. Foreigners often misinterpret the phrase and incorrectly assume that the Thai don't ever take offence or take things too seriously. To believe this is grossly misunderstanding the Thai. They often do care, but have been conditioned to respond in such a way. The Thai rarely display negative emotions. Anger, tantrums and public crying are uncommon. This, however, doesn't mean that they aren't displayed in private, or that the emotions aren't there. It simply means that a person doesn't want to lose face by showing their feelings in public. Thai customs and traditions number seven. Social status is important. As an outsider, this point is easy to miss. Age, family connections, job, education and income are all factors to a Thai's perceived status in society. When the Thai meet, they will perform different versions of the greeting, or why, depending on a person's status. There are social rules concerning who should offer the first why. Note, when socialising and a bill is presented, it's traditional for the person of the highest social status, generally the highest earner, to pay. The Thai also have words to indicate a person's age. P is used before an older person's name to show respect. Nong is used for somebody younger than them. With this said, it's possible for a younger person to be referred to as P if they have a higher social status. Frankly, it can be very confusing in certain situations. Thai customs and traditions number eight. Easy ways to show respect. The use of language and the why are a couple of ways for the Thai to show respect. There are a couple of easy things that foreigners should do in social situations to show respect. Number one, bring a small gift when you visit someone, especially at their home. It doesn't have to be something expensive. Food is a very standard gift. Some decent fruits or possibly a Western food product that they might like will work. Number two, always remove your shoes before entering a home. It's a major sign of disrespect to not do so. Thai customs and traditions number nine, loss of face. As most are aware, shaming a Thai, especially publicly, will cause a loss of face. If I was you, I'd avoid making a Thai lose face, unless this can't be avoided. It's not uncommon for Thai people, particularly in rural areas, to deal with perceived injustices outside of legal frameworks. Acts of extreme violence have been committed due to loss of face. In some cases, it won't simply be one individual getting involved. Families, groups of friends, or even entire communities may administer punishment as they see fit. Thai customs and traditions number 10, patriotism. Thai society has three pillars, nation, monarchy, and religion. National pride is a huge part of the Thai psyche. Most Thai will proudly tell you that they're the only nation in Southeast Asia to have never been colonized, Frankly, in my opinion, this point is debatable. However, it's a long conversation for another YouTube video. In many places throughout the country, the national anthem will be played twice a day 
it's expected that people will stop and stand until the song is finished. The King's Anthem is also played before a movie starts at the cinema. Again, you must stand for this. Thai Customs and Traditions number 11. Thai religion is somewhat unique. Thailand is a Buddhist country, specifically Theravada Buddhism. However, the religion practiced in Thailand is somewhat different to other Buddhist nations. Thai Buddhism has been infused with many outside elements, specifically Hindu practices and traditional Chinese beliefs. Animist beliefs also play a large role in making Thai Buddhism what it is today. While in Thailand, you'll notice that many Thai people wear amulets or carry talismans. This is despite Buddhism prohibiting attachment to material objects. Belief in ghosts and spirits is also strong in Thailand. This stems from traditional animist beliefs. Most Thai houses and office buildings will have spirit houses, for example. Thai customs and traditions number 12. Superstitions. To say that superstitions are rife is something of an understatement. Many superstitions are connected to the belief in ghosts and spirits, and they really do drive most critical life decisions. It's customary for people to consult a fortune teller or monk for an auspicious date before arranging a wedding, buying a home, or test driving a car. As an aside, my marriage date 13 years ago was determined by my mother-in-law's visit to a monk in Sing Pri. The tradition of giving newborn babies a nickname originated from a desire to trick malevolent spirits who may want to steal the baby away. Traditionally, people avoided complimenting parents on their new baby too, fearing that the child may seem too desirable to the spirits. There are also superstitions related to not being able to attend a wedding if you've had a recent death in the family, plus ghosts telling you winning lottery numbers, and more. Thai customs traditions number 13. Monks are highly respected. While in Thailand, you're sure to see plenty of monks. They're pretty much everywhere. Monks are highly revered and respected in Thai culture, and disrespecting a monk is a huge no-no. Monks generally get designated seats on public transport, and people should always give up their seats to a monk if no other seat is available. Women should be especially careful of their actions around monks. Touching a monk is a big no-no. Also, women must not directly hand things to them. Any offering should be placed on a monk's dish, rather than into their hands. Women also mustn't sit next to a monk, or their belongings. If you act inappropriately around a monk in Thailand, you can be sure that all the Thai around you will quickly point out your errors, with great disapproval. In general, the Thai are pretty tolerant and understanding that foreign visitors will sometimes make mistakes. As long as it's not something major, like showing disrespect to the religion or monarchy, yelling in public, or walking around semi-naked, most Thai will simply overlook cultural differences. Anyway, that's it for this video. Expect a new video next week. For all you techers out there, this video is shot on a Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus and edited using Hitform Express. To check out details on arranging a bespoke Bangkok tour with experienced tour guides, please click on the link in this video's description section. Finally, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel through the button below. Also, I'd like to hear from you if you have any questions or comments regarding Thai customs and traditions. Maybe you know some customs and traditions that I missed. Please do reach out to me through the comment section of this video. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next week. Goodbye.